Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. It's your story lords into the demand. Now, while I was editing, I actually understood how this thing seems to work. Not holding the button thing, but the scanner thing. Uh, let's take the system view. Let's see now. I have scanned Mahuan, then I'm at zero. Everything else has been on square and each change. So I can I can go there, right? Actually I have no idea how that works. I could skip this. And I think I will in the future, but for the first system, let's just see how how this works. So uh, to see if I understand what exactly is going on. I'm not probing the planets. Anomaly detected. I am not sticking stuff into the planet repeatedly. Oh, and we found a new anomaly. Sure, stick a probe in it. Probes launched. Oh, this is actually the anomaly we were currently thinking about. What's left of a ship. Cool. Reported missing, presumed lost. Heavily damaged in the drift, but salvageable. Me? Right. Cool. Anything else this has for me? Not at the moment, no. So, back to the system view we go. And we're gonna take a look at Konzen, Faisin, and then back to the Nexus, where we will pick up more monkeys. Because I need my monkeys. I'm, I know it's only one monkey, but I need it. It's important to me on a personal level. Deeply so. Right, it looks like there's the possibility of scanning several objects here as well. This is a big boy. Okay, so this... Offers nothing new to me at this time. No obviously visible anomalies. So I thought it saw a shiny little thing. It didn't yell anomaly detected at me, so I don't know. And this boy has cloud cover. Anomaly detected. Are you sure this isn't our new habitat? Deploying Anomaly. a probe. I found something. It's a volcano. Hmm. Okay. And now the last stop is the Nexus. From where we will get our monkey. Yes. And once we have the monkey, we can actually go planet side or something. I'm sure about it. It's not going to be... Okay, so we now have a few under full understanding of what is going on here, supposedly. And now we are disembarking from the Tempest, which means we will get immediately uh, chastised for uh, setting off without permission. But that's no big deal. We'll just say it was a test lap. Around the system. You're making sure all, all, all systems are nominal and whichever. Making sure our hovercraft is not full of eels. These are all important things to make sure of. 
Okay, this is the way to return to the Tempest. So, this is the door? Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? Oh, we haven't actually been around here to talk to people, I guess. Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance vid maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> so that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to record the history we're making. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? You don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Sure. Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? Well, no, but we can improve. We still have to fix them. Everyone, leaders included, needs to pitch in. Let's be honest about these challenges and how we're going to face them. Nice. Won't make you popular with the leaders, but it's good to hear. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. This was more fun than I expected. And a you very short answer. I'll get to work editing. Okay, so... Hello? Don't. Keeping tabs on things back here? Yeah, I try to watch what's going on while we're away, but it's nice to check in person. Going well, I hope. As well as it can go with limited resources, yeah. Tiny steps. Okay, we kind of have to look into that a little more. I'm just going to rub against everyone, make sure everyone is very uncomfortable about me being here. Though not an intentional interruption in that regard, it's just that I don't know how to play video games. By the looks of it, everyone has their Omni tools available, everyone is doing their Omni tool tool jobs. Can I help you with anything? Uh... I don't know, what do you have? Hey there, just use the console to have a look-see at what I've got on hand. Hope you find something you like. You got it. Shop till you drop, here I come. Oh, I like you. I haven't actually looked at anything that's... I don't know how useful these things are. I don't know what they're for. What is this Arak fluid sack? There's so many items. And I have yet to figure out the benefits of any. Those are sniper rifle bits. Hmm. Oh, I don't actually have nearly as many credits as I was expecting, which is fair enough. Uh, right, bye-bye. I don't know if I'm supposed to sell off all my things. Probably not. But the important question is, where is my monkey? Where is my monkey? Oh, there's my monkey. Just around here somewhere. Got this, got that, still missing those. Here we are, one young pie jack. Ready to see Andromeda, huh? Sam, can you send a note to Kesh? Make sure our new friend gets delivered to the Tempest. Acknowledged. Excellent, we have a thing. Okay, the vehicle terminal is currently not available to us yet because we are I have yet to try out our vehicle, I guess. So let's just get back on our ship. Let's get things rolling. This is not an accessible path for us. 
Yes. Right. Ten minutes in, we've done as much as get our monkeys and give an interview answering one single question. Which will not make us popular with the leaders, but uh, eh, eh, eh. I mean, we're here to give people a new home, not to make friends with people. Liam asked if you could come by. Oh? Okay, I guess I'll go talk to Liam. And also, I should check in with my monkey. Ryder, when you've got a minute, stop by the medbay. Everyone wants to talk to me now. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Where's the bayak? Thought I heard the bayak. I guess this is our meeting chamber? What's this terminal? A non-functional one at the moment? <gasps> Here's the bayak. Hello. Oops. Looks like our Pijak friend got out of his cage. He'll be fine. Won't he? The exercise will probably do him good. Please don't turn off my ship. I need it. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> maybe. Your biotics always do that when you're maybe stressed? I got it. I'm good. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick though, like losing the old man. You were a second in command. Were you friends too? He was more a mentor than a friend, prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. This is very... This number's not at all convenient. How does a human soldier get to serve with a sari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with a Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained Pathfinder, and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. What did you come for? So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. All right. Enjoy your little corner. I did not mean to immediately teleport inside it. Hello, friend. Such a cute little friend. Okay, no one's in there. This is distracting missions. This is... This took a little longer to open than I expected. I'm in the armory. Like, I know where the armor is. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Wanna see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, this is the most important part of the ship. Whoa, don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change. I am at your command. Just want to see how things are going with the ship? 
I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, I gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties, no real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Huh? We're exploring this cluster, eventually the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> in the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Next one. Let's see. I guess we're leathering. We get downstairs. More conversations. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Hope I'm not interrupting something important. Not at all. We were just finishing up. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. We need that sort of drive. I just hope I can keep up. You'll keep up. And I promise I won't tell if you don't. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later? Sure thing. Alright. And where else do we go here? This is a door. Liam, is this your couch? Pathfinder, help me with something. I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Let's find a couch. Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. Been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few piece actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. Hmm. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder, why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I hoped my Lion's career would lead to adventure. Exploring, hunting dangers in the dark. Didn't happen. Couldn't. But here, everything's new. And I want to see it all. Oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. 
but it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Yeah, that, that couch... 600 years does... does its work. I guess. Though for a 600 year old couch that's looking pretty good. Alright, and in this direction we have... Right. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. In fairness, we already talked to Harry about this. He knows Sarah's the good one. I think you're both trouble. Hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. <laughs> I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here. Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. Anatomist? Physician? That's quite the resume. I'm also a licensed psychologist. 275 years has given me plenty of time to branch out. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam. Make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. You just teleported a little. Ooh, you did a bad. You don't need an old man in a few hundred years, your tuner, to tell you you're ready for this. I'll do it anyway because you know it's true. You keep your riders safe, and I'll do the same with mine. Calling tips on the riders, eh? Any news? Dinner tonight, no entry. Sorry everyone, I forgot we were taking turns. The observations aren't done back yet. Got you covered. Cool. And this path leads here. And this was my room. Right. Alright, well. So much for getting on planet this episode. Anyone we haven't talked to yet? Suvi, I think. Or Suvi, is it? Sorry, the name is Estonian for summer, so I may accidentally mispronounce it at times. That's the engine that we have looked at. Suvi was actually on the bridge, wasn't she? Along with the pilot. Yeah. We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. Alright, I'll talk to them as well. Ah, Pathfinder. It's so wonderful to meet you. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar, assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus science team. Welcome to my team. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. I can't wait to get to work. There hasn't been much to do so far, unfortunately. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. 60 pages. 
That's a lot of pages about dirt. Oh, you don't have to be kind. I know it's barely more than a summary. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. It's why I joined the initiative. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We're the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible. I guarded a mass relay for some time. I always wanted to see the other side. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Me, out there, with the guns and the danger and everything. Why should that be funny? You seem capable. Oh, I'm flattered, but no. I have no combat experience. I'd shoot you in the back. Not intentionally, of course. <laughs> anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later, then. Yeah, have, have fun. And we'll also talk to the pilot. Hello, Gallo. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the arc back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Well, thank you. And thank you for watching. And uh, we'll actually go and do something next time. At least you got my space monkey. Bye bye. I almost punched the table, not necessary in this. Bye bye.